Here the following contest is Liv a Morgan. triple threat match. Making her way to the ring, representing the Judgment Day. From Elmwood Park, New Jersey, the WWE Women's Women. World Champion, Liv Morgan. Without question, a true fighter in the women's division. Made a comeback from injury, succeeded when people thought she would fail. Get your cameras ready. Tiffany Stratton is here. Beauty, grace, athleticism, and skill. Tiffy has it all. And her opponents, first from Prior Lake, Minnesota, Tiffany Stratton. Stratton has an amazing gymnastics background. She even competed on the U.S. national team. She sprang her way into WWE after that and has never looked back. We've learned very quickly that it's always Tiffy time in WWE. Irresistible force. And from San Diego, California, the WWE Women's Champion, Nia Jax. Jax has ruled the women's division since day one. She's held singles and tag team titles here in WWE and still wants more. It is absolutely impossible to plan against an opponent the size of Nia Jax. Nia Jax looks to be in a bad mood, and I'm pretty sure she's going to take it out on her opponent. Three of WWE's top competitors ready for this triple threat match. All set for action. We're starting off with Liv Morgan, Tiffany Stratton, and Nia Jax. Triple threat matches are a beast of their own. No disqualification, no count out, and twice the threat of being pinned or submitted. Not so fast. Hurricane Rana. It takes a certain level of athleticism to pull that off. That attack was definitely pre-calculated, hoping to greatly diminish the power in that arm. Stratton was scouted there. Once she gets going with that kendo stick, this match could be over real fast. Taken down to the canvas. A match like this can have so many twists and turns. Corey, what will have an impact on this matchup? You need to strike first. Dictate the pace of the match. Since anything goes, you can add anything to the equation. Each competitor responds differently to the rules being thrown out the window. The key is who can stay alert and remain in control. I wish someone would throw you out a window. STO! Is it enough? And there's the breakup just in the nick of time. Caught with the elbow. Caught with a clothesline. Ooh, what a forearm club. <laughs> and she's stunned in the corner. With no count outs, there's nothing keeping her inside the ring. She's taking things to ringside. Now looking for something to waylay her opponent with. The steel chair. Never as innocent as it looks. Uh-oh, submission move. Fujiwara Rolls through, a clever escape and a knee. Jax absolutely not backing down. 
whipped back into the ring. And she slides her back to the mat. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. And Liv is the one being challenged here. Jackson has just made a big opportunity for herself. Perhaps looking for some kind of equalizer here. Oh, I feel we see that. And the top. Can she keep her down? She's quick to get her shoulder up. A little closer to getting the pinfall there, but this is still anybody's fight. Boom, right to the jaw. Oh, oh, you can pick up your teeth in section 112. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. Good grief. That's a chop that'll wake you up. Punishing the leg. Being hobbled like that, something to keep an eye on. A flat out power into the scoop slam. With a two face breaker. That could have been it right there. There's the crucifix. Nicely done. Placing them into the corner. Crushed in the corner. to the bread basket for their troubles. Nia Jax brushes that one off. She's going under the ring now. Grabbing a kendo stick. Any connection with flesh will definitely leave a rut. Pain must be shooting through that leg now. Kendo stick impact. And these attacks are spelling nothing but trouble. So many did. This could do it. She still has enough energy for a simple kick out. Jones! Oh, stop! That kick will stop me in your tracks. And now she's climbing to the top turnbuckle. To the sky. And she doesn't connect. Taking this one back to the ring now. Oh, God. Nia Jax just getting worked on here. Though I don't see Nia struggling much longer. And Liv got completely caught by that maneuver. Yeah, triple threat matches are no cakewalk. And they are showing us why right now. The pain and punishment it really builds in these type of matches. Oh! Ooh, a sharp kick. Looking for a high risk, high reward situation. Up high, cross body from the top. Oh man, a back break. Gross. How dirty is that? Oh, the face has been planted. And this is just next level brutality. She re enters the ring now. She's pushed into the corner. <laughs> Missed timing with that springboard. Ducking out of trouble. Jumping complete shot. Can Liv put things away here? What now? Oh, a stop to the belly welly. Things not going how she'd like. I'm just surprised that this triple threat match is still going on, Cole. I bet Saxton this would have been over by now. If you can get past the good looks, pay attention to the athleticism. What a move by Stratton. Liv is completely out. Here. I have to say, I feel like we are just one move away from claiming a winner in this one. One more move or one more misstep, either one can do it. Into the ring again. Oh, impressive counter. This could be over right here. Got the set up and there's the power ball. Jack's on the verge here. Submission move, Fujiwara bar. Liv Morgan, tremendous heart and guts, but I don't know if she can hang it. Rolls through, clever escape and a knee. Setting foot in the ring now. Ooh. These two 
superstars must be feeding up the WWE Universe. This place is starting to rock. God, drop toe oh, Face first. Look at this. Pendulum back. He's looking for the win. The pin's broken up. Boom on the jaw. Cover. Is it enough? She gets the shoulder up. What shot that she kicked out? You and I both, Byron. Showing off that more aggressive side here, and it is paying off. Jumping clothesline! What agility! And attacking above the shoulders has become the strategy here. Oh, getting smacked in the head with a chair. Oh, man! Oh, my God! These are dangerous attacks on their own, but now the damage is exponentially multiplying. Up on their shoulders, down in a hurry. Both. Side rush and leg sweep, takedown, and, and heavy hands to follow. And gets tossed back into the mat. Liv obviously has that Jersey toughness accompanied with a Jersey mouth. A thunderous headbutt by Jax. And things are about to go from bad to worse for Nia's opponent. In position, making the climb. Here it comes, Annihilator. Tiffany's on Dream Street. Jumping, complete shot. Face first. Liv could have this one. Amazing. And Nia Jax is still in this. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of heart from Nia Jax. And here we go. Single leg crab. Really working that. What's going to happen here? I think she's got an opportunity to turn this around. Breaking it up at the last second. Trying to chop her down with a low kick. Across the top rope. Bracken show no fear, no intimidation. Morgan on the receiving end. She's in the ring now. Oh, the face has been planted. Bracken grounds their opponent while she ascends up. Quick shoot, Scratton Bomb. Jax looks absolutely out of it. And a big victory here tonight. Here is your winner, Tiffany Stratton. Standing tall among the two other hungry competitors who were in this match. Three women came into this match, but only one wanted it the most. You are looking at her.